Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 28, and this is war number 9. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Orange and Brown Nation. Alright, so let us go in here and spectate and see what they have in store for me. Alright, um, it's a little bit late that I'm getting in here. Alright, uh, so we've got Ghost Rider, he's not a difficult defender. Um, clairvoyant can take him no problem uh, so could War Warlock uh, I probably wouldn't use Nick Fury just because um, he's bleed immune uh, then we've got Guardian another uh, pretty straightforward and easy defender uh, Claire can do it Warlock can do it Nick Fury can do it uh, and then we've got Storm Pyramid X on the mini node here and with all of that Fury she can be dangerous, so you want to uh, take her out as quick as possible. Uh, I might use uh, Nick Fury just because I have that little safety net uh, if I decide to take her. And looks like they've already cleared the middle. Like I said, I'm getting in a little bit late here. Uh, we've got Iron Man, Infinity War. Hmm. Um... I don't know if I have anyone in particular that would be good for him. Uh, normally, I would go in with Nick Fury, but he's bleed immune when he has those armor ups, so that could cause some problems. Uh, trying to think if Claire might uh, work. But yeah, this node, you really want somebody that's shock immune uh, to take on this particular uh, defender here. Uh, then we've got Ultron. That's interesting. I haven't uh, had to fight him here. Uh, he evades on a timer. So he's not too difficult to uh, fight once you get used to uh, that timer there. And then, of course, we've got uh, Medusa here. Claire should be able to handle uh, both of these, for that matter. Uh, and then we've got um, Mr. Sinister. That's Warlock. All day, every day. That that fight is a Warlock fight. So if my Warlock is still looking good, which he should be because I'm not planning on using him for anyone else, uh, I should be able to take that fight. And wow, they're already uh, into the mini-boss island. Okay. Um, so, uh, Sassy, Human Torch, uh, Nick Fury, Claire can do that fight. Uh, if necessary. Uh, and then we've got uh, Vision Arcus. And I believe Claire is also good for that fight uh, as well. And then down here, uh, we've got, uh, well, already they've taken that guy out. But then we've got uh, Annihilus, who is annoying at the best of times. Um, and then we've got uh, Ultron up there. And the new Ultron can be annoying. Uh, I don't know if I have anybody in particular that would be good for either one of these fights. So if necessary, uh, I could take out that Nick Fury and that uh, Vision Arcus. Uh, the Sasquatch, maybe Warlock could do it, but not the best. Claire... Uh, if she can handle that regen. That regen is what I'd be worried about. Uh, Claire can handle the rage node because uh, Sassy's on uh, rage here. Um, but Warlock would be better at stopping Sasquatch's uh, healing, of course. But uh, that rage, that, that could be tricky. That could be tricky. All right, so... Um, I'll be back in a little bit with the, uh, fighting. So be right back. And I'm back and I'm going in with my standard team of Nick Fury, Warlock and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Who knows when I'll change out that team, probably, uh, when I switch my path or if I get a much better option for, uh, going in here. But right now that team has been able to handle most Sometimes I had to bring in Magneto for like an Iron Man Infinity War on that node. But otherwise, 
that team has been uh, a staple. All right, so I take path three, section one. And as you can see here, I'm going ahead and boosting up. You see that I'm capped out on those boosts. I need to use them or else they're just going to expire. So there's no reason not to use them, except if I forget. So first fight is Ghost Rider. He is not a hard champion to fight. Uh, I noticed I was nullifying. I'm like, okay, wait, did I nullify? Oh yeah, this node does give them armor ups, which makes Black Widow Clairvoyant perfect because she just nullifies all that stuff. Now on this node, there's a high chance for her to fail. But as you can see, there's still a chance for her to nullify. And she does that chance. She has a chance on every single attack. And you can see it, it worked out well. So don't be afraid to bring in a mystic nullifier on that node just because there's a high chance for it to fail. Uh, you can still, especially if you have a lot of opportunities. Now, if you have somebody that nullifies like on a special only, then that can be a problem. But for her, just her regular attacks, it's perfect, not a problem. All right, so now we're fighting uh, Guardian. Now, I remember fighting Guardian when he first came out, and he head-butted me, heavied me into oblivion. Let me tell you, that heavy attack came out of nowhere. But as you can see, Nick Fury just tore him up. Now, I have the six-star Nick Fury, and I cannot wait to awaken that six-star Nick Fury because I will take him up, and I'll be bringing him into war because soon we'll be facing really, really high champions, you know, high rank champions. Um, I doubt we'll ever get to the point where we're regularly facing rank fours in war. I think that's only at the top, top, top right now, but eventually, and I'll have to, you know, increase my champs and all that good stuff. All right, so uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, fight this mini. Now, she's actually uh, a little tricky because of the glancing. So if I glance my final light attack, I don't get the uh, good damage. You see all that glancing? And on this node, she gains a lot of fury when you don't, you know, get your hits in. And it, it, it could be really bad. So that's actually a pretty good placement for her. Um, but of course, Nick Fury still took her out. Um, I just played really aggressively. All right, so now the middle is clear, but I only have one more energy. Oop, that's it. And then I went to bed. Woke up the next morning and ready to go for section two. Um, I think uh, it was a little while uh, afterwards. I, I kept peeking in to see what was going on. Um, there was, uh, who was it there? Um, ah, I forgot who, who was there now, but we were discussing who best to go up against him. And we, none of us had, I don't think really good options. I might be confusing, um, champions here. Uh, but that one was cleared. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think a backup had to come in uh, to clear um, that that particular node because uh, it was EMP uh, and none of us had like a shock immune. And I think Angela uh, with one of my alliance mates was the one uh, that we thought would have the best chance of success, but it didn't work out, but eventually got him down. All right. So... I'm fighting Ultron, and this is the Ultron, not Prime, but I guess Classic. And he evades on... Oh, that one hurt me. But he evades on a timer. But do you see how long that heavy attack was? I'm just like, okay, he evaded, let me dash back, and he hit me from long range heavy. I said, what happened? And then I got mad, and I got focused, and took his butt out. But anyway, uh, I remember, I remember that because I was sitting there going, what? You know, I was like, yeah, how, how? How'd you hit me like that? So I'm just like, all right, no problem, no problem. Uh, Claire, I can heal her back up, you know, so not, not a big deal, not a big deal. So 
next up, we've got Medusa. And of course, Claire rocks Medusa. You know, she'll never get her living strands and you can just fight the fight normally. Okay. Um, and you can see here now I'm wanting to heal up. Right. And so I looked at her health and I'm like, uh Oh, she might not survive for me to even get to a special two. I'm not even, uh, rotating out of my, um, poison to get the most damage. Look at this. Couldn't heal. She, she didn't last long enough. Wuss. Did, wouldn't last long enough. All right. So anyway, we got her down and I was going to go in here. Uh, against that Mr. Sinister with my Warlock. But whoop, he got him while I was fighting. I was like, okay, well, whatever. And at the end here, uh, I asked who was going to be taking uh, the final boss. Because I don't know if you can see it, uh, but the persistent charges on Apocalypse are four, which means someone went in there with a non-robot champion. Now... If you can get the one shot, you know, that's cool. But generally the strategy you want to uh, go with is to go in with a robot. So like I have a full warlock. We had somebody else that also had a warlock. You want us to go in first because we won't give him charges even if we fail. And that way someone else can come in and finish him up without too much difficulty. We didn't get any of the bonus on this one, by the way. Um, we might've been able to get at least one bonus, but you live and you learn. And, uh, uh, we should be able to, uh, handle that the next time. All right. So after a brief intermission, we'll come back and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. We really needed to win this one for even the slimmest hope of getting platinum three don't really have too much hope for platinum three but if we wanted even the slimmest hope we needed to win this war so we did and honestly we need to win all the wars from here on out if we want to have a chance so that's going to do it guys uh thank you all for watching the video feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.